The semitendinosus gracilis graft is certainly a versatile graft. And occasionally the problem arises in a patient of, of small stature, particularly a female, where you end up with a graft diameter that's 6, 7, 7.5 millimeters, which is really insufficient for implantation. And the surgeon has to make a decision to either select another graft or to add an allograft. And the use of an allograft is something that we really don't know how it incorporates into the final construct. A easier decision would be to make a six strand graft. And what I'd like to demonstrate is a very simple technique where a 225 millimeter graft is folded three times to end up with a 75 millimeter length graft. And what this does actually is, is as you might expect, it adds two more graft lengths to increase the diameter to 9, 9.5, and commonly 10 millimeters in diameter, which is certainly the size of graft that you'd like to implant into your patient. This is really a simple technique, and I think that you will find it useful for patients, again, with small stature to increase the overall diameter of the graft. This is a good example of two tendons, gracilis and semitendinosus, and you can see the very small diameter and if you were to take these and, and double them, we've already measured it, and it's a seven millimeter diameter. So this is a demonstration of a seven millimeter diameter tube, and even though we compress the graph, seven millimeters would be a smaller diameter for us to utilize, and studies have shown that there's an increased failure rate. So we'd like to be able to increase the diameter of this graft. So very simply, we're going to show the technique where we make a six-strand graft, and the purpose is to fold that over once and to fold this then over on top of it, and that'll increase the graft diameter to at least 9 to 10 millimeters. Now, the other factor here is this graft is 210 millimeters to 225. 225 would be the ideal length, and that's going to give us a finished 75 millimeter graft in length. Uh, to be able to accomplish this, we're going to use the fiber loop. And we have the tightrope, which is going to be on the femoral side. We have the tightrope with the button, the ABS system, which is going to be on the tibia. And then we have a number two fiber wire with two independent uh, needles, which is very important in the final construct of making this six-strand graft. So we have a fiber loop suture, approximately 25 millimeters from the end. We're going to pass the fiber loop one more time and just grab the end of the graft. So that's a two very simple fiber loop sutures that stabilize the end. We can take that off now. We're passing the second fiber loop through the end and this is a number two, and certainly for smaller tendons, you can consider a zero fiber loop. This shows the tightrope attached on one side, and we have the tightrope, the ABS tightrope on the other side. And very simply, we're going to pass the graft through a triple loop. So the first passage, if you just hold that, there and you have to have good management because you have eventually six strands that you're dealing with but very simply we're going to pass one end through and tie it to that to that end we'll hold this And we'll cut that portion. We're going to take the graft and pass that through. We're going to relax the graft station. This graph's going to be approximately 70 millimeters. We'll hold that.
And then here's the final adjustment in the length, and we're going to let this come up to here. You can see the construct is coming together very nicely. Put a little tension in that, and then just hold that there, if you would, please. And then we'd like to duck this final end into the center. And once in the center, we're going to tie it there. So if we look at our construct, then we have this graft right up to the tip here. To the end, we have it looped around, and the end is here. And so it's obvious at this point that we don't have very much graft strength. So we now have to add the final suture, which is a number two fiber wire. We'd like to put our graft under tension when we start suturing it. I have about 25 newtons on it. We're eventually going to go to 40 newtons. And we'll hold that, please. We're going to pass that forward and hold that, please. And we're very simply passing these perpendicular to the graft. forming a loop. We're going to cross it over and very simply work up the graft with a suture that would be very similar to what you would use if you had a fiber loop. But we like to have the tension on the graft We want to be tensioning that as we come forward. Thank you. Take this, and that comes over. And we can take two. I think for this one, we'll take one more. Just to bring this to the end. And then we're going to complete that final. We're going to tie that end to the tightrope. And now we do the very similar thing to the opposite end. We're going to suture the other end again with the fiber wire. We're going to cross that. Maintain our loop. And we'll do a third one right at the end. And we'll cut the end of that, please. So we have the final construct of the graft, and now we're going to put it under 40 newtons to precondition it. And then we have a final suture to put in, 
and I like to put a whip stitch that uh, brings all the fibers together. We're going to start this just a little bit distal. We're putting it together as a, as a major collagen construct. So we have a graft tube. This is a nine millimeter graft tube. And that fits over it very nicely. Compresses the graft, compresses all the sutures. And so what we've gone to now is a nine diameter graft. And we started with uh, approximately seven, 7.5 millimeter graft. And this would be a very suitable graft for implantation. And if we bring the graft tube up, you can see that it is a 75 millimeter graft. And so this would be a uh, nine millimeter by 75 millimeter graft, which would be certainly an excellent graft uh, for fixation. We started with a graft that was going to be in the seven millimeters. So in summary, we've simply done a six strand graft by looping it through three times and then using our suture fixation at both ends of our tightrope.